Imagine stepping off the plane in Japan, ready to immerse yourself in a new culture. But are you truly ready? Today, we're embarking on a journey, a journey of preparation. Because as we all know, preparation is key, especially when diving headfirst into the mesmerizing world that is Japan. It's about more than just packing your bags. It's about understanding the culture, the customs, the little details that can make or break your experience. So without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 tips to make your Japan travel experience unforgettable. Tip number one, watch out for English menus. Now, isn't that a bit surprising? After all, we're used to seeking out English menus abroad, right? Well, here's the twist. In Japan, English menus in restaurants might just be a trap. You see, some places have a sneaky habit of marking up the prices on these menus. You think you're paying for convenience, but in reality, you're shelling out extra yen for the same dish listed cheaper on the Japanese menu. Picture this, you're sitting in a cozy sushi bar. You order your favorite California roll from the English menu, and it costs you, let's say, 1500 yen. But if you were to order the same from the Japanese menu, it might only set you back 1200 yen. That's a 300 yen difference for the same roll. Over time, these little markups can really start to add up and eat into your travel budget. So what's the solution? Should you start taking crash courses in Japanese? Well, while learning a new language is never a bad idea, there's a simpler way around this. Enter Google Lens. This nifty tool can translate Japanese menus directly, saving you from the English menu trap. All you need to do is point your phone's camera at the text, and voila, you have your translation. Not only does this help you avoid unnecessary costs, but it also gives you a more authentic dining experience. You get to order just like the locals do. And who knows? You might even stumble upon some delicious dishes that didn't make it to the English menu. So here's the takeaway. Don't fall for the English menu trap. Instead, embrace technology. Embrace the local culture and let your taste buds explore the true flavors of Japan. You'll thank yourself when you're enjoying that extra sushi roll you saved on. So, for a more authentic and possibly cheaper dining experience, avoid English menus. On to tip number two, don't buy a SIM card at the airport. You might think it's convenient to grab a SIM card as soon as you land, but hold your horses, airports know you're eager to stay connected and they capitalize on that by charging higher rates. So what's the solution? Well, it's simple, plan ahead. Remember, a bit of preparation can go a long way. Check online for SIM card deals before your trip. You'll find a plethora of options that offer competitive rates. You either have it delivered to your home or pick it up at a designated location in Japan. This way, you won't be stuck with sky-high airport prices. But hey, maybe you're thinking, I'll just use public Wi-Fi. Well, you could, but it's not as widely available or reliable as you might expect. Plus, there's the added hassle of finding Wi-Fi spots and signing in each time. Having a SIM card gives you the freedom to stay connected wherever you are without the constant hunt for Wi-Fi. So there you have it, folks. Plan ahead for your SIM card. This tip will not only save you money, but also make your journey much more enjoyable. Being prepared can save you a pretty. So let's gear up for the next exciting tip, shall we? Moving on to tip numbers three and four, luggage size matters, and consider a luggage delivery service. Now let's talk luggage. If you've ever stayed in a Japanese hotel, you'll know that space can be a bit, well, compact. It's part of the charm, but it can also mean that oversized luggage quickly becomes an unwanted roomie. You don't want to be tripping over your suitcase every time you need to reach the bathroom, right? So here's a tip straight from the Savvy Traveler's Playbook. Pack light. Trust me, it's liberating. 
you'll be free to navigate the bustling city streets, jam-packed trains, and cozy hotel rooms without feeling like a pack mule. Not to mention, it'll save you from the dreaded, where did I put that? Search through a mountain of clothes. But what if you're thinking, I can't possibly fit everything into a small suitcase? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Ever heard of Yamato Transport? They're kind of a big deal in Japan. Actually, they're the biggest. Yamato Transport is Japan's largest door-to-door -door delivery service. Imagine this, you land in Tokyo, drop your luggage with Yamato, and instead of lugging it to your hotel, it's there waiting for you when you arrive. It's like magic, but better, because it's real. And here's the kicker. You can use Yamato to send your luggage from hotel to hotel as you travel across the country. Say goodbye to struggling with your bags on crowded trains or hauling them up and down station stairs. So whether you're packing for a week or a month, remember, size matters. Opt for a smaller suitcase and let Yamato Transport do the heavy lifting. It's a game changer. And that's a wrap on our luggage tips. Remember, the art of travel isn't just about where you go, but how you get there. Travel light and smart and let someone else do the heavy lifting. Next up, tips number five, six, and seven. Don't overpack your schedule, cash is king, and mind your payment etiquette. So you've got your flight booked, your hotel reserved, and you're ready to explore Japan. But wait, have you planned your itinerary yet? It's easy to jam pack your schedule with must see spots and must do activities. But remember, less is often more. Japan is a treasure trove of hidden gems, and sometimes the best experiences come from the unexpected. So leave some breathing room in your schedule. Embrace the freedom to wander off the beaten path, and you might just stumble upon your own personal slice of Japan's beauty. Moving on to tip number six. Cash is definitely king in Japan. Despite its reputation as a tech-forward nation, many places, especially smaller, more traditional establishments, still only accept cash. So while your credit card and Apple Pay might be your go-to back home here in Japan, always have some cash on hand. You don't want to miss out on that mouth-watering street food or that charming antique shop because they don't take cards. Now let's talk about payment etiquette. In Japan, there's a unique custom when it comes to handing over your cash or card. Instead of passing it directly to the cashier, you'll often find a small tray at the counter. It's there for a reason. Place your money or card on it and the cashier will pick it up from there. It's a small detail, but respecting this local custom is a simple way to show your appreciation for Japanese culture and norms. Remember, flexibility, cash, and etiquette are key to a smooth travel experience in Japan. Don't simply rush from one tourist spot to another. Allow yourself the luxury of spontaneous exploration. Keep cash handy, and when it's time to pay, remember the tray. Master these tips, and you'll navigate Japan like a seasoned traveler, enjoying every moment of your trip to its fullest. Our final three tips. Wear comfortable shoes, let taxi drivers handle the doors, and explore local eateries. Let's kick off with the footwear. Japan is a country of exploration on foot, whether you're strolling through serene shrines or bustling city streets. So make sure you pack some comfy shoes. You'll thank yourself later. Next, let's talk taxis. In Japan, taxi drivers take pride in opening and closing the doors for passengers. It's part of their service etiquette. So sit back, relax, and let them do the door work for you. Finally, don't miss out on the chance to savor the local flavors. Move beyond the usual tourist spots and dive into Japan's rich culinary scene. Whether it's a tiny ramen shop tucked away in a back alley or a family-run sushi joint, these local eateries are sure to serve up a delicious slice of Japanese culture. Comfort, courtesy, and culinary adventures 
are the final ingredients for an unforgettable Japan journey. And there you have it, our top 10 tips for traveling to Japan. From avoiding English menus and planning your SIM card purchase, to packing light and using a luggage delivery service. Don't forget to plan your itinerary wisely, keep some cash handy, and observe proper payment etiquette. Remember, comfort is key when exploring, so wear comfy shoes. And lastly, immerse yourself in the rich culinary scene. With these tips in your travel toolkit, you're all set for an amazing adventure in Japan. Safe travels.